Yo, what is up boys? My name is Marin at TM and welcome back to another video. You guys might be asking, Marin, what's going on? You've been daily uploading for four days and truthfully, I have no idea what's going on. I'm just super motivated. I want to make a really good content for you guys and therefore I'm making a high ground tutorial today. I don't have the most offer on high ground retakes, but I do have something. And I think that these are really general and I think that everyone should know these, therefore the title. But if you don't know these, please don't quit, all right? The title is super exaggerated and and not to be taken seriously or anything. These are somewhat challenging, at least some of them are somewhat challenging, and I'm not expecting everyone to know him. And therefore, if you are offended by the title, I must apologize. It's just because YouTube seems to enjoy those titles. I don't know why, uh, but yeah. Boys, let's get right on into it with the first high ground retake. All right, so actually, first off, you want to go ahead and open your web browser and search for ping map Fortnite. This is because without this map in creative, especially in this update, you will lag a lot, even with a really, really good internet. Therefore, you want to go down to the map for better ping by Peter, go into the website, scroll down until you find the code and copy it and put it into your Fortnite client. You know, that's one of the perks of being subscribed to the Marin TM channel. And, you know, if you like the video, that would also mean the world, but hey, let's get right on into it. You do not want to enter this island, you want to enter your main island after that, like this. Let's get into it. Alright, so this video is not going to be in any specific order. All of these tricks can vary from very easy to very hard. Therefore, I'm going to start off with the double side jump. I have not mastered this yet, but I think it looks really cool, and I'm going to do my best to show you guys how to easily do it. And I want to give a massive shout out to Raider464 for finding out about this. To learn this, there's really only three really easy steps, I would say. It might take some time, but it's definitely not too challenging. First off, master your side jumps. Be very confident in your own ability to land the side jump every single time. Once you're confident enough, you can move over to step two. Secondly, you want to practice the side jump where you both include a ramp and a floor. This is a lot more challenging than the first one, but I think you guys will get this down really, really fast. The most important thing to keep in mind when doing this trick is where you jump off your ramp. As you just saw, I kind of jump off in the middle of my ramp and then look out to the side and kind of look up a bit just like this, and then I look back out. This is just to get the movement even smoother and it makes it a lot easier to actually catch yourself. And it's definitely a go-to if you wanna learn this and be consistent when doing this trick. And lastly, however easy it might sound, all you wanna do is combine the tricks and go for it. This takes a lot of practice and I've found that holding out your pickaxe before jumping off the cone in the first jump will make this a lot easier. So basically, after you replaced your first two ramps and the cone, you still wanna hold out your pickaxe just like shown in the background video right now and then you want to jump out look in the sky catch yourself with the trick we first learned place a cone do a 360 and finalize the double side jump this sounds like a lot but trust me if you just look at this video and think that you're going to do it i think you can do it it's really really hard it looks awesome it's definitely worth to practice and hopefully you guys will get it Alrighty, boys so we just took a look at the double side jump a really really hard trick and moving on we're gonna be taking a look at an essential and it goes something like this all righty boys so in order to pull this trick off what you first want to do is obviously place a cone and a floor right above your head edit them like shown in the video place a ramp a floor a wall and then another ramp in that exact order it's incredibly important that you place it in the exact order i say right now a ramp, a floor, a wall, and a ramp. That's the only way you're going to be able to pull this off. And it's really scuffed to say what I'm about to say, but this is one of those tricks you just gotta go in creative and try for yourself. It's super hard to explain this and it isn't any secret tip in order to make this happen. You just gotta work it out, you gotta practice for hours on end, build it into your muscle memory and you'll have it in no time. I want to add that running diagonally before editing your roof and cone is a lot easier than running just straight up. You gotta be so so fast and have really good ping in order to make that happen. As you see right here, I always run diagonally right here. I kind of run right forward and that's why I almost got a little too bad time. But definitely try to run diagonally if you have the opportunity to do so. As you can see, I'm never running straight up. Really important to run diagonally. I've said that like six times already and I think you guys get it. So let's hop over to the next high ground retake. 
All right, boys, first and foremost, it's incredibly important to stay hydrated. And secondly, I just want to say that I've never seen anyone actually make a tutorial about this, and I'm not seeing a lot of people do this. And therefore, I decided to include this in the video. It's not really too challenging, and nor is it super effective either, but it's really good to prevent your opponents from getting shots on you. Therefore, I thought it was worthy of being in this video, and I'm going to go over how to do it really simply. So this high ground retake is really just a super good combination of different high ground retakes, and ways to surprise your opponent. Obviously, if you do this infinitely up to high ground, it's not gonna surprise your opponent, but if you pull this off once or twice, he's definitely gonna think, what is going on right now? He will see cones everywhere as you place them all over the place, and you will just be jumping up and down like a kangaroo. Therefore, I think this trick is super unique. And with that said, let's get into how to do it. First, you want to edit your roof and cone like this. This will give you the opportunity to double ramp. After that, you want to place four cones and try a jump just like shown in the video. This is really, really simple. And I think that if you just hop into creative, you'll get a first try. All right, so I'm going to try to put it as simply as possible. All you got to do is connect your wall to either the back of your ramp or the cone you've placed. After that, you just gotta connect the ramp to the wall and you're good to go. It's that easy and I'm pretty sure most of you guys will get this literally first try. So this is where it gets interesting, you wanna do the 360 side jump. If you wanna, you can jump straight out, but that's a little harder in my opinion, especially when it comes to consistency. The 360 is just better for some reason for movement. You won't lose any velocity when doing the 360, so I would really recommend that. It is a bit harder to learn at first, but after a while it gets way easier, trust me guys. And as a cherry on top, you wanna pull off the twifo cone strategy and if you're not aware how to do that i'll leave a link down in the description below to a tutorial my friend jay made on the topic it's a super short easy to understand comprehensive video that will teach you how to do it perfectly so check that out if you are curious all right so this next one is a personal favorite of mine and it makes me smile just making a video about this trick because i never see anyone using this and I don't know, I just really, really think this is an underrated strategy because you can catch your opponent so easily in this cone right here. It's actually incredible. So in order to pull this off, you want to go out and double ramp, jump once, place a wall, a cone, hold your blueprints out, edit the cone, jump again, place the cone, and then catch yourself with a ramp that gives you the opportunity to 90 out on the side. It's important to jump twice and it's super important to hold your blueprints out as you don't have the same reach with your pickaxe as you have with your blueprints out. Alright, so since we are talking about high ground retakes and how to get up quickly, I thought it would be really interesting to see which 90 is actually the fastest. So I'm just gonna be comparing the 190, then a running 90, and then a two 90s, and then a running 90, because I know that these two are the most effective 90s. Of course, Bissell 90s and other 90s are also fast, but they're not infinite and you can't do them up to max height. So yeah, I just did that and I'm really excited to see which one is actually the fastest. So let's take a look, boys. So it turns out the 190 and then one running 90 is 13 milliseconds faster than two 90s than one running 90. It of course might be a slight mistake by me, but by the look of it, it looks like 190 than one running 90 is actually the fastest. So if you're wondering, there you have your answer. I thought it was really interesting and yeah. That's really about it for this video, I hope you all learned something, and if the title was a little too harsh, I'm super sorry about that. But hey, to quickly conclude this video, we've learned double side jumps. The little mongrel classic. The not so mat sufficient high ground retake.
And lastly, the Marin TM Classic, the one and only. Let's go. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. It really, really warms my heart to see each and every one of you returning to my videos, dropping likes, dropping comments, especially comments. So thank you guys so much. And if you haven't yet bought the World Cup skin, if you want to support me a lot, you can use code Marin to buy it. And with that said, everyone, I think I'll see you all tomorrow with a brand new video. I'm going to head to bed right now. It's 6.42 a.m. and I'm super tired. See y'all later, boys.